I can't be positive that Victoria even has him. Yeah, who else could it be? Chip is gone and Victoria is nowhere to be found. Mm, no one's answering at her mother's. Well, she wouldn't know anything anyway. Tori's not gonna go there. She knows it's the first place we'd look. Any luck? Nothing. I think it's time to get the police involved, full-scale search, you know. Yeah, well, the problem is, Kane, that there's no there's no crime that's been committed. I mean, it's her own kid, and she has custody of him. Well, Chris, she was probably afraid she was going to lose custody. That's why she took him. I wonder what the hell her lawyer said to make her think that. He told us that she had the better case. Well, he may not have been as certain as he sounded. Has anybody talked to Major Hamilton? Maybe she talked to him. Yeah, I called him on the phone. He said he doesn't know a thing. I'm going to go over there later and make him tell me that to my face. You know, Cruz, I hate to say this, but she may be out of Santa Barbara. I keep telling myself she wouldn't do that. But obviously, it's... It's ridiculous to deny the possibility she could be anywhere. She could have gone to Los Angeles and jumped on an airplane. The reality is I may never see my son again. shuffle you around so much, but you know, we can't stay in Santa Barbara anymore. No, we can't. Everybody's against us. They all think that I am an unfit mother, but you know better than, oh, that's good, you know better than that, don't you? Sweetie, the only reason that we're doing it, I have to do this, is so we can be together. I just love you so much. You know, something in my gut tells me that you know where Tori took my son. Well, I don't. I told you before I haven't seen her since early this morning. You're her friend. You live here with her. You're trying to protect her. Listen to me, Castillo. There is still some question as to what is really going on here. And if what you say is true, I would never condone Victoria's behavior, much less protect her. And I don't have to remind you, Philip, how fine a line she's walking these days, emotionally speaking. It's not too hard to imagine her doing something colossally stupid. If you're worried about Chip, don't be. Victoria would never do anything to harm that child. And what makes you so certain that she has him? She's only been gone for a couple of hours. Maybe she's shopping or at a movie. She didn't show up in court. You think she'd skip the custody hearing to catch a film? I don't know what she did. I'm only saying that there, there's probably some perfectly simple explanation for her not showing up. An explanation having nothing to do with Chip's disappearance. Yeah, there is an explanation. That's obvious. I'll tell you what it is. She's not in her right mind. She broke into my house, she took my son, and she ran away. I don't believe she did that without somebody helping her, Philip. It better not have been you. Don't threaten me, Castillo. None of this would have happened had you let Chip remain here with me as Victoria intended. Aha, uh -huh, okay, well maybe we should remind ourselves of the facts of why I came in here and took him out. If she'd have walked in that door like I did and seen this place ransacked and found her son alone in that closet, too scared to make a sound, she'd have washed her hands of you, pal. And if anything has happened to that boy, anything, I'm going to hold you personally responsible. Excuse me, hey, miss. But... Miss? Yes? He dropped this. Well, look at you. He dropped seemed... this. He seemed pretty upset, and he got scared when I tried to give it back to him. Thank you very much. My name's Barlow. Lieutenant William Barlow, U.S. Navy. I'm going to San Diego and then on to the Philippines. Where are you headed? Oh, uh, we're going to, uh, Mexico. My son and I are going to Mexico. Such a pleasure to have a civilian to talk to. Believe it or not, I don't talk to too many people outside the Navy. So when I get the opportunity, I like to take advantage of it. People in the Navy only like to talk about Navy matters. I hope I'm a little bit more well-rounded. I'm sure you are. I like a good discussion every now and then. Intellectual stimulation. <laughs> Free exchanging of ideas. So Mexico City, you said? Mm-hmm. 
What, have you ever been there before? Um, I have, but my son hasn't. Oh, oh well, started oh, out traveling stay. early. That's what I always yeah. say. Well, so how long are you going to stay down there? Um, we don't have definite plans. I've never been to Mexico City. I've been to Acapulco. I spent a week there one October, and three days of it in bed with that stomach business. It's hot and sultry. Not my kind of climate. That's too bad. You meet your husband down there? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, I am. He's, uh... Major in the army. Is that a fact? Well, actually, he's uh, retired now. We're meeting him for an extended holiday. We actually uh, live in Santa Barbara, don't we, sweetie? You know, I really don't know why he wanted to go on vacation. He just wanted to see Mexico City again. Mm -hmm. uh, well, he's uh, not traveling with me because um, he has some matters in the stock exchange to take care of. But he's a wonderful father. He uh, he adores his son. Yep. Mm. Well, you're obviously a happily married woman. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you have a family? I'm not married, if that's what you mean. Being in the Navy is like being on a long trip that never seems to end. It's hard to find a woman who'll put up with. It. You're fortunate to have a stable family life and a, and a son. <laughs> yes, I am fortunate. I'm a very lucky lady. Mm. I appreciate it more and more every day. Give him back, Tori. Give me my son. Listen, you think you could uh, find it in yourself to go over to the Major's house and just watch for a while? Check him out from a distance? I, you know, I, I don't trust him. I don't believe anything he says. She might just come waltzing up to the door. He could have the suitcases packed. If you just check him out, I'd appreciate it. Sure. What are you going to do? I'm gonna go to the hospitals, in case anything's already happened. Where's, uh, where's Eden? She went to see her dad, see if he would help. Well, we've got every angle checked. It doesn't seem like enough, man. If she's traveling, she's, she's getting further away every minute, you know? It's, it, doesn't, it doesn't seem like enough. Think she's still on the pills? Well, she didn't finish the rehab. And she's desperate, I mean... It, it never occurred to me, Kane. I, I didn't think this all the way through. I just didn't think that by putting her in a corner, I'd make her run like this, you know? Look, uh, I'm gonna head over to the Majors. I'll call if anything happens. Thanks. Tell you how sorry I am. No, I know, I know. This is all my fault. But I only left him alone for ten minutes to make myself a cup of coffee. And I went into the room and he was gone. How could I be so stupid? Oh, Mamana, don't don't be silly. You had no way of knowing this was gonna happen. Nobody is blaming you, and you shouldn't blame yourself. All that matters now is that we that we find him. How can I help? What can I do? I don't know. We're trying to uh we're trying to cover all the angles. Did, did you think of anything else that about the room since we talked last? No, uh, no sign of something she might have left by accident. Give a clue as to what her plans were, where she, where she was going, something like that. Nothing. I just went into the room and, and Chip was gone, and there was no sign of Victoria. Just the empty bed where Chip had been. Oh, Cruz, I'm so frightened. No, 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 no. no. Don't be afraid. She is his mother, you know. Maybe you should go home and try to get some rest. I'll have Eden come and look in in a little while. No, no. I, I want to stay. I want to help. The only way I can live with myself is... It, it, it's, it's to keep busy and, and, and try to do something to, to help find him. Maybe that'll ease this terrible guilt I feel, this feeling of, of having failed you. No, Mama, don't talk like that. You didn't fail me. Please don't talk like that. If anybody in this family is to blame, it is certainly not you. 